Now I'll show you how to browse the web using Satio. Uh, the main menu on the middle button and then on the top of the main menu you have an internet browser. Uh, this one works just as well in portrait as in landscape. Uh, up here you have some options, one of them being bookmarks. And there you have your bookmarks and let's try out uh, MySpace as an example. It starts loading the page, connects, I'm using the 3G network now, it's of course also possible to use over Wi-Fi. Uh, perhaps that wasn't that interesting, let's check out uh, Lonely Planet instead. So this is what the Lonely Planet website looks like. It seems to be a mobile version. Uh, but let's check out how to enter your own address. Do that on the globe to the right. And there you can write whatever you want to. So this is a very big web page, it's almost 2 megabytes at this point. You can of course zoom out and in of it like this and then browse around it to read whatever you want to read. And also, if you double click on it, you get into a zoom mode where it's easier to click on links, etc. So that's one way of browsing the internet. Then, of course, you can also use third party applications. So let's exit the browser. And I have downloaded Opera Mini, which is a very popular third party browser. It has the feature of uh, automatically downsizing pictures, etc., to, to minimize the time you need to wait for the page to load. Uh, I have some history here where I've been before, but let's click on uh, BBC as an example, which is a quite big website, uh, but you'll see how, how nicely this browser adapts to, to that. You can, of course, scroll around using your finger like this and, and it works really nice. Also if you need to enter an address in this current version there is a glitch which makes you have to press insert symbol to actually get to a writing mode. Uh, I guess that's because this browser is mainly for, for devices with keypads so far. I'm sure the new version will, will be better. But here you can enter an address, an address and uh, because of this glitch is a, a little bit of more key presses but as soon as it's ready it will start loading and there you have that side as well and I think the browsing experience is really great uh, there's also a new version of this browser in a, in a beta stage at this point I've installed that as well it's Opera Mini Beta 5, which is a more refined version for basically more for touch screens. So here you have a few predefined bookmarks and you can add your own. And also in this one they actually have their own QWERTY keypad. Uh, so I can write here instead. See, this is the first time I've used it since installed, so I need to, to enter some security data, random data. You can find more information on this on, on the Opera website, of course. The, the beta is available for other phones as well.